Hey guys, this is Mr. Secorder here. Today I am going to discuss a problem named largest independent set. It was taken from Geeks for Geeks practice section. I'll put in the link. I'll put the link in the description below so that you can also practice. So the problem states that you are given a binary tree of size m. You need to find the size of the largest independent set. So what do you mean by the independent set? Yeah. It's a subset of the tree nodes such that no two nodes have a edge between them. You need to find the largest size where this condition satisfies. So let's first dive into a brute force approach, and then we'll look at how this can be solved using dynamic programming, where the complexity gets reduced. So for every node there are two possibilities either including in the subset or not including in the subset let's say you consider the current uh, element the root element so if you consider this element since there are edges you cannot consider its direct children so you cannot consider 20 and you cannot consider 30 but now the problem is reduced to calculating the largest independent set that is from it by the grandchildren that is the sum of largest independent sets that are formed with a root as 40 and with the root as 50 and with root as 60 by summing all these largest independent set possibilities you will get the solution this again breaks down into recursive solution where uh, the problem here is either including 50 or not including 50 if you included 50 then the possibility is you cannot include 70 or 80 okay if you don't include if you let's say we go to the top root and if you don't include this 10 so there is no problem break down into finding the largest independent set that is possible with a root as 20 and with root as 30 let's see the solution so if the root doesn't exist if the root is null then the only possibility is zero obviously if the root is a leaf node then we are considering so if there, if there is only one node or is a leaf node that we arrive to then we'll return one these are the base cases now the problem breaks down into considering my node uh, and not considering myself so let's initialize them with zero so if you can if you don't consider myself I mean if you don't consider the root then the problem breaks down into the largest independent set uh, of that is formed with this with, with their direct children that is root arrow left and root arrow right this is a recursive problem and if you consider this 10 you cannot consider this 20 okay and direct children and the problem breaks down into the sum of largest independent set that are possible by their grandchildren so these grandchildren so since you are including the current node then uh, you will have you will increment the size by one and if left to exist you will find the largest independent set that can be formed with my grandchildren that are formed with the left branch similarly the right branch is calculated and uh, now the po you will return the maximum of considering myself or not considering myself so that will be the solution this is a brute force solution where uh, the complexity is 2 power n where n is a size of a binary tree because at every node you are checking whether uh, the possibilities of including or not including at every node you are checking two possibilities so for n nodes you will have 2 power n so you are checking all the 2 power n combinations i mean all the subsets of different sizes and uh, which takes uh, longer to run so we can reduce this with a memorization because uh, we can absorb the uh, uh, substructure problem which is getting repeated frequently let's say you consider this node then you are you are going to calculating the longest increasing subset of this 
40, 50 and 60. Sorry for my drawing. Sorry, um, 40, 50 and 60. Even when I don't consider it, I'm calculating the language increasing subset of my uh, direct children's. <coughs> so which further, if you, which further, if you don't consider this 20, then the problem breaks down into calculating its children's longest increasing subsequence. So you are calculating the root more than once. So you can use the memorization technique here so that uh, whenever you reach the node again, if the problem is already solved, then you can simply return that. So the memorization will be like this. Most of the most of the code is same, but uh, you will pass uh, here. I'm using a, a map in C++, um, which maps uh, the current root to a current node to a value, which is uh, the solution. That is longest increasing subsequent size. Sorry, longest degree in independent set size that can be formed by using current node as a root. So if I already solve this, I'll I'll be inserting into the map so that I can find it. If I don't, if I found it, then I'm simply returning the solution that is possible, which is already solved. If that's not the case, I solve the solution as of bef as before, and I'm so I'm showing the solution in a map so that I can use it when I revisit this node. So you can simply create a, a map with a with pair of uh, node and int and simply pass to longest increasing subsequent uh, function that we have written and that will solve the solution for us let's see the results yeah we got a correct answer thanks for watching and stay tuned by subscribing Thank you.